Hey, Vox here. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the best settings to use to elevate the show. Now, there are some that are, I feel like, clearly better than others. And there are some that are personal preference. And let's let's go through them. Um, settings you'll get to in the settings menu in the upper right corner of your screen. Create, you know, if you want to create a stadium on next gen. So settings. Sliders. Okay, I'll just give a brief overview of sliders. I think the only slider you ever really want to touch is if you're in practice mode and you want a little bit faster pitch speed. Turn up the fastball pitch speed. Otherwise, you can just kind of leave sliders alone. I, if you're like franchise and want to change the difficulty, go ahead and do it. Um, but it might be better just to go through like the, the, the this kind of hitting difficulty area. But anyways, hitting view, personal preference. I use strike zone two. I think like strike zone one is a little too zoomed for me. If I wanted that zoomed, I'd just get close to my monitor. Okay. If you don't have a monitor, make sure your TV is in game mode as you're using it. If your TV is not in game mode, it's going to be a little bit lag. It's going to be very hard to hit fastball. So make sure you're, you got a monitor or your TV is in game mode. In play view offense, again, I just leave it on default dynamic. You can, you know, zoom it out, whatever, whatever you want to do. That's It doesn't have that big of an effect on gameplay. Ball trail, daytime only, so I can track it in the air better. Nighttime, you can kind of see the, the white ball versus the background, um, but you can keep it on all the time if you want. Hitting interface. I use zone, okay? Zone is basically where you have the PCI, which is the big yellow thing. We'll talk about it in a second. It's right right below here. And then you move it with your left stick, and then you hit the button to swing. I do not suggest hitting power or contact swing this year. Uh, contact swing last year was busted early on, and they nerfed it. Uh, I think they nerfed it a couple times, actually. Just use normal swing. But anyways, that's zone hitting type. There is directional where you don't move your PCI to line it up where the ball is, but it's very random, very RNG. Timing, um, eh, don't worry about it. Let's just, just do zone if you're new to the game, okay? Input type, buttons, analog type won't even be active when you're in zone. Don't worry about that. PCI anchor, I think if you're new to the game, just you can kind of have that turned off. I'll probably leave it off too. PCI anchor is new to 22. Uh, basically, if you click down left stick, you can then move the the PCI anchor inside. If like you're having trouble with like inside fastballs, you can probably you can try that on, but maybe start off with it off. And then as you get grow more comfortable in the game, you can turn it on and see if you like PCI anchor or not. But I'll let's start with a plate, plate, plate coverage indicator. The PCI that I was talking about stands for plate coverage indicator um, on, right? Some people, after experimenting with wine, like it off. It feels more like they don't have, they're not focused on the PCI as much, and they focus more on the ball and moving to it, and they feel like they hit better. I use it on um, my PCI center diamond star fighters. This is like it doesn't. This doesn't matter at all. This has literally no impact on gameplay. Um, I turn the outer off. I don't know. I just, it just kind of distracts me sometimes. It's, it just looks ugly in my opinion. Uh, PCI color go yellow, but maybe I want to go something like red. I, I, I don't know. Just do. Just go crazy, folks. Go crazy. Here. PCI transparency seventy. Maybe we'll turn that down to sixty. PCI fade out doesn't matter. Um, outer because I don't have it. You can turn PCI if you want it to fade out as the pitch is coming and go away. You can get rid of it all by going center and outer, inner and outer. I'll just turn it all off. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. PCI fade out. I have. We'll just keep it off. All right, so that's batting and base running basic. Advanced, guest pitch, leave it off. If you're going to play online, online does not have guest pitch, except for very rare situations and maybe an event. But you don't want to get hooked on guest pitch. If, you're, if your goal is to play online, instead of, like, if your goal is to start, like, franchise, don't, just, just get rid of the crutch, get rid of it, and uh, keep guest pitch off. Base running decisions, assist, as you see. Um, the online game, uh, the second sentence there in online play, the game will automatically be set to assist. So just leave it assist, keep it standard with online gameplay to get used to it. Base running interface, do you lose default, sliding decisions, assist, runner winners on. If you guys want to know how to slide, right stick inwards, outwards, upwards, downwards, generally you want to go up, right, or left, depending on where the ball is coming up for a head first slide, and then you want to hook the base or hook home plate like on the outside or inside of the base, depending on how you want to hold it, depending on where the ball is coming in from left field, right field, where the pitch, where the, the throw is. All right, on to pitching from the, you know, the throw from the fielder. Pitching, okay, you, I'll just go back to the legend right here. Pitching interface, use pinpoint, okay? The easiest one to use is obviously classic. All you do is click a button and it auto throws. Don't use classic, okay? Analog, pulse, pinpoint, or right, analog, pulse, meter. They're all viable. There isn't a single, like, you know, awful, except for Classic. Classic's awful because it's so RNG, you're going to throw a bunch of pitches down the middle or way out of the zone. Um, Pinpoint has definitely taken a nerf this year. I think, like, I might even try out, go back to Meter, Pulse, Pure, Analog. Um, I think Pinpoint's still the best, though, uh, because it's the most accurate. If you can get the motions and gesture down, gestures down, 
pure analog pulse is like a, a flashing in and out thing that you got to time pure analog is going like back and forth and then uh meter is like you click the meter like uh you know old school madden uh field goals wait no that's not what your current madden field goals are old school madden field goals used to be meter and then they switched it to pure analog and i switched it back to meter but anyways go to pinpoint just get used to pinpoint for right now uh to my knowledge it's the best that could update through the year as we get more things pitch feedback yes keep it on pitching view this doesn't matter hitting view matters much more than pitching view hitting matter hitting view is like how are you gonna be able to see the ball coming in how are you gonna relate to where it's moving in space where it's breaking where it's staying straight on a fastball um i'm even like i'm actually having a little trouble with strikes on two this year i might actually end up changing from where i've been the last two years but pitching view i like retro it's a little bit more zoomed out it's still from behind the plate so i can still see pitches break the way a batter sees it break i feel like that offers me a little bit of an advantage because like i i not only get to see pitches like twice as often as i would otherwise uh, but it also kind of like gives me the like how a batter is is also kind of facing that bat and how they're how they're uh, feeling there so anyways so i use pitching view behind the plate i use retro but you can use anything it doesn't really have that big of a, an effect on the game at all your pitches are going to matter more on your pinpoint so you don't have to like you know time it up like you would have to time up a hit and your view matters a ton for that pitch ball marker pitch trail on um people can like use classic on i prefer pitch trail uh, this is a personal preference thing i just like the the see the how the ball is going to break um classic is like it's got a ball and then it's got like arrows for where it's going to break so those are two choices but use you pitch trail on pitch confidence on you know online pitch confidence is on sometimes a little overpowered uh pitch delay go faster makes makes playing this game a lot better on like sim modes api just turn it off it doesn't really matter it's like the catcher indicating pitches to you don't worry about that little guy fielding button accuracy you gotta use button accuracy 100 percent. don't even try anything else throw road to throw if you do like road to the show you can use what you want show time's fine throwing meter throw it on so you can see what you're actually doing how accurate you're gonna throw the ball um and, and then you can time your throwing meters better field and decision assist that's what it is online so let, let's leave it standard since it's gonna stay that it's gonna assist it's gonna auto to that in online anyways throwing decision turn it off an online play the game will automatically set it off you might as well just keep it off since it's gonna be off anyways for you in play view defense dynamic it's just like the in play view offense thing it's it's cosmetic it doesn't have a big deal on gameplay just kind of like your personal style what you feel like watching as the ball is like hit to the outfield as the ball is hit to the infield um where your camera is and how you see that uh throw canceling definitely keep it on it's great for base running decisions like say you're say you're like a fielder and, and you got a runner and a pickle if you throw the ball a lot of people like will bait you into a throw and once you once they see like the animation start the arm go back they'll completely go the other way okay with throw canceling you can cancel that animation and then just tag them out if, they, if they're then going to come back to you okay but without throw canceling on you got to follow all the way through and they'll get out of pickles and you'll give away outs that you should have so keep throw canceling on but throw throw canceling you just click the button another time that's how you cancel it all right um one button dive catch leave it off understand which one goes up which one goes sideways r1 r2 auto infield jump definitely leaves these things on um drifting ball this is an, again another thing I, I like the way the drifting ball feels to me personally it's how it's always been up until a couple years ago where they added track ball um i think drifting ball is just i don't know it's more aesthetically pleasing since it's like a baseball instead of like a, a, a like a, a skid mark blue line on the field defensive shift go ahead and leave it auto it'll shift for pull hitters like lefty pulls and stuff it's just for mike trout which is i don't like shifting on righties uh, but shifting on lefties i think is very very powerful let's start laying down buns off the wall ribbon turn it on um so that way you can see where the ball is going to go um general gameplay style competitive is online do it fielding aids i don't want uh, fielding aids so let's turn it off player name display on strike zone on hot zones off i do not think hot zones are there for online play hot zones on basically shows oh your batter is really good at hitting balls in this zone i don't think it has an effect i don't know if SES has come out somebody in the comments let checks and let me know but i'm pretty sure last i heard um hot zones have no effect on how a player hits the ball online or hits the ball at all it's just kind of showing you irl where their hot zones are wind off we don't need more rng added to an already rng festival here 
Um, I guess for online, if you want more immersion, you can keep it on, but just turn it off. Uh, wind is wind is annoying. Uh, warm relievers, turn it on. You're gonna have to deal with that online anyways. So you might as well get used to it. Um, and how long it takes your relievers to get warm. Dynamic difficulty updates, sure, whatever. This doesn't matter. Um, I turned dynamic difficulty off since I chose Legend for both my hitting and, and pitching. Vertical camera movement, leave them standard, sure. Tutorial tips, probably generally off is a good idea. Um, I don't need tips. Post game auto save on, okay. Advanced scoreboard display on, pitch selection display on, swing info on, pitch info on, box off. I don't even know what the heck a balk of this game would be. I don't like the here's how you would tell what a balk is, um, IRL, right? Yeah, the pitcher goes and does those things and the umpire calls it. Okay, that's what a balk is. Just turn it off. Umpire accuracy, make it perfect. Don't make them idiots. I hate idiots. Umpire close plays, get rid of them. I want. I don't want umpires. Get make them into robo umpires. Check swing appeals off. Make the game go ha game go faster. I, get the get them out of here. Who cares? I want. I want to play baseball. I don't want to watch an umpire. Injuries manual. This doesn't matter. This is just for offline play. I think you know really what you want to do. Um, online, I, I guess if you have them on for your franchise, then you can go, go to like uh, change your injuries manually on like the sliders up and down. Ejections, oh, that's kind of fun. Sure, vibration on. I turn my controller vibration off from the controller main menu. Um, I don't think vibration is really that big of a deal in this game. You could probably turn this off. Game log order default. All right, so that is it. That is all the settings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Ho let me know if there's any comments. I think I covered everything really well here. Um, presentation. Again, these are all... This does like no effect on the game. Mode specific settings. Um, yeah, these don't have like... I don't think these are... These are just like... Yeah, mode specific franchise stuff. Um, Showtime. I like Road to the Show. Game flow. That's cool classic button locking yeah i think i left all this stuff on default because there's nothing really important there audio visual i turn the music off don't need to get uh, clapped on uh, dmca here presentation yeah there you go that's the settings hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any comments or questions please like subscribe it really helps with the channel thank you very much i will see you tomorrow